Hi guys and welcome to Wither Island. So for the guys who watched the live stream last week will know kind of what this is uh, all about but I thought I'd show you a little bit around what we did on the live stream and what I've done since. Um, the first thing I think I will do is head up to the surface um, then I can show you around the island while I'm speaking. Okay, so I'm up on the surface now, um, and I thought I'd just start with some of the other bases before I go to mine. To this guy, it just happens to be night time, which makes things a lot harder. Luckily, a lot of this is lit up now. Um, the reason it's a lot harder is kind of because there is triple mob, triple the amount of mobs. Um, on here than normal. Um, let's go this way and we'll start at the other side of the island. Um, I've not been in here. I've only been in the nether once, so let's have a look. Not got much going on just yet. This is the town hall portal. Uh, I think they said the left was the slime farm, so this way should be um, the opposite side of the island. Yeah, there are. This, this is at the opposite side of the island, I know. So we'll head over here and have a look what's being built over here at the minute because I've not seen it in quite a while. Oh my god. Um, this is what I mean about the mob cap. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, I think we need the whole island lit up. I've got skeletons shooting at me. I think I'm going to hide it in a house until it's daytime. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll have a look around when it's uh, not so many mobs about. Okay, so now it's daytime. Um, hopefully, there's a lot still burning. I'll have to keep an eye out for the creepers because they don't burn. Um, but yeah, let's head up this way first. Get rid of these spiders. All the witches don't burn either. Oh my god! Oh, and there's a oh. I'll have to fix that. Yeah. Let's get rid of some of these mobs so I can actually look around properly. Yeah. Before I die. Again. There we go. Pick up some of this sand. I'll try and fix this as well. Uh, it's not a very good start to showing around the islands come back with some more sand to fix it later. Just do it as best I can for now. Go. Okay, so let's get rid of him before he jumps behind me. So we've got this side of the island is we've got the desert area. Now it is only a small island I think I think that's the biggest uh, mountain. There's two really big ones. Um, I'm not sure whether that's. I think that's the second tallest one, and then there's another one which is out of my render distance, which is uh, bigger than that. Oh no, it didn't give me an enderpearl. Anyway, so we've started at this one because it's at the opposite side of the island to mine. I can't run away from this creeper. I need to eat. And a lot of people just have got small houses at the minute because the island is limited in size obviously. Size, obviously. So um, we all have to kind of be able to fit on the island. I think there is land. Well, I think there is actually land further out, but um, there's a lot of ocean around us, so we're supposed to kind of stay on the island uh, for bases and things. Which, not every kind of resource is here, but we've got a couple, like we've got some birch trees on the... Um, we've got oak trees, and I think most of the island is actually savannah, so we've got a lot of acacia, but um, not really any dark oak or spruce. Uh, we've got no packed ice. Um, yeah, but we've got access to the nether now, as you can see, someone's been in and found a fortress somewhere, um, which wasn't here last time. So this is 
the first house. This is Sarah's house. Um, I will try and get links to everyone's YouTube channels because I think everyone on the server, I think there's 10 of us, um, is actually recording YouTube videos. I won't go down there. I think that's just her mind. But this is Sarah's little house here. And then I think there is someone else just up here somewhere, I think. Yep. Yeah. We'll head up there and have a look at that one as well. Oh, there's another one there. So, although people are kind of spread out across the islands, it's really not that far. I think it takes two or three minutes to walk around the whole island, so it's quite easy to get to everyone's bases. I don't know who this is. Oh, this is the farms, I think. I don't know if that's someone's base as well. No signs on it. Sugarcane, someone's got some things down there. Let's head over to this house that I've seen over here. And have a look. Another nether portal over this side. Chicken stuff, chicken cooker. And we have... Is this a house boat? <laughs> this is quite cool. I don't know whose house this is. Actually, I think this might be Solid's house. It's probably him who's been and got the, um, the nether wart. So he's building, I think it's a houseboat. It's either a houseboat or it's a floating house, which is kind of the same thing, really. But anyway, um, I'm going to head around and see if I can find any other bases to show you. And then um, after we've had a look of them, I will head up to my own base uh, and we can get going on doing something for this episode. Okay, so we're back at mine and as you can see, got lots of animals here. Now I settled in this little area, it's actually further around. Um, I think it's like the opposite side of the island from where we just were. Um, oh, I've got a present. Head over and have a look. This wasn't here last time I came, so we got a load of nether wart. Gifts from hell, literally. Yeah, solid. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh my god, I have a blaze spawner. Oh, that's kind of awesome. Now, the reason we've got this is um, the one thing that was added on the server here was the ability to move a spawner if you have silk touch, which I don't have. And I think I mentioned uh, last week. Uh, after the live stream or something that I wanted to build a blaze farm, I really wanted to do that um, once I got silk touch so I could move out of the nether and possibly build it on the island somewhere. Um, so there's my present called horse armor, saddle, some magma cream, gas tier, some gold, some blaze rods, that's awesome. That's an awesome gift and obviously lots of nether warts, so that's great. Thank you so much, Solid. That's kind of awesome. Um, yes, I've got some arrows. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh. Um, so, I've got some animals around here that I've been breeding. I've not got many sheep. I thought I had more than that, but um, I can get some wheat. So I've got lots of cows, which is really, really noisy. Um, I prefer the cows and the sheep as the better food. Um, it's always used to have some for wool, I guess. But this area um, is kind of random. I was thinking of building up on a mountain somewhere, um, but this is actually at the foot of the tallest mountain. Um, this one, you can't really see it all because it goes up, it's quite small at the top, but it does go up really high up there. Um, and I think on top there it goes a little bit higher, but further back that you can't see. Uh, I've got a neighbour over there, which is where we started a minute ago, but um, I think there's some buildings there we can go and have a look at in a few minutes. But we'll head down into my base first. So, I didn't know what to do for my base on this. Oh, I found a spruce tree. Um, one spruce tree, so uh, I got some saplings and I'm gonna try and get stocked up on saplings so that everyone can have a bit of spruce wood. Um, so I've just grown that one for now. But 
Um, I wanted to build up on the side of a mountain, but then I kind of just started digging down and made a little area underground when we first started, and I kind of like the idea of building it in the mountain. So here for now, and it does go all the way down to 11 there, but I was thinking of using this whole mountainside and building something up here, um, and then I can kind of extend out into the mountains here. Oh, I got my nether portal there, which was also a gift. Uh, I've got my storage stuff that I've just started. There's nothing fancy. I've just dug the square out. I, I want to make that look a little bit nicer at some point. But then this all goes all the way down here. There's nothing else on the staircase just yet till we get to the bottom. And this was just my first room. I had my basic storage here, my furnaces. And then I've been exploring. I found a couple of pumpkins, which I didn't think there was many on the island. So I've been getting these for people so they can have some seeds. Um, we've all got lots of sugarcane. Get that pumpkin as well. And then I managed to get enough for the enchantment table. And as you can see, I've been mining quite a lot. I managed to get my diamond armor. It's not enchanted yet because I don't really want to waste enchantments on that unless they're the, the level three ones, which since we don't have an XP farm, it's going to take a while. Um, but as you can see, I've been mining down there and it goes off in different directions as well. So that's just my little idy hole and it's actually built on a big lava pool so um, I'm quite okay for fuel and things like that. I don't have to worry too much about coal. So that is the island so far. Now I'm not quite sure what I wanted to do in this episode because most of the time so far I've just been um, collecting resources, I've done a whole lot of mining, but now I want to start building, so I'm going to try and get some ideas of what to build, and maybe start um, making this look a little bit nicer on here, and then I can have a proper entrance, and maybe start build the front part of my house. Okay, so, I've been gathering some materials, let me just empty my furnaces out again. Um, Melting up some cobblestone, so I've got some smooth stone because I still don't have silk touch, unfortunately. And I cleared the mountain a little bit here, just kind of smoothed it out a bit. I can hear a zombie. Oh, I think there's holes underneath the ground, I bet they're in here. Okay, they're not in this one. There's been a few creeper explosions that I've just covered up, and I think the dark underneath, so I'll have to go searching for them later. Um, let me just turn that down because that's really going to irritate me. So, the first thing I want to do on here is just to kind of get the outline. Now, I decided I'm going to use spruce because I've got that, and then acacia because we've got quite a lot so I'm going to use spruce for the main part um, of the building and then acacia for like the roof and then I'm going to go get some oak uh, there is some trees not far away I just can't remember where um, just for kind of decoration and things like that um, fence posts and uh, trap doors and things just to add a bit of detail on the outside I've got some glass panes uh, for the windows but uh, I'm not quite sure how big I'm going to do it just yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do off camera and just work out the dimensions and just do the frame and then I'll come back and then start working on building it together okay I just eat I've started the house um, it's not going to be this small this is just going to be the first building like I said it's going to have more buildings going around um, kind of in the same design um, but I just wanted to get mainly the entrance part done um, because when I'm getting attacked by mobs and I've just got that little gap to try and get in it's kind of difficult so um, let me get some of this on this is just a little bit of detail on it <laughs> I've just been using um, dirt in the areas where you're not really going to see it 
And then if there's any you can, dirt you can see from the inside, then um, I will get rid of that later. Um, I need to get rid of some of this stone. So, I'm kind of using what we've got available. Um, because, like I said, there is limited resources on the island. Um, I probably will go out at some point and try and find some different resources, go out on a boat. Um, which I did go a short way already, which is where I found the spruce tree um, and brought that back. But I do want some like dark oak and uh, packed ice and things, especially for inside the base. I probably want to use quite a lot of packed ice. Yeah, I want to try and make inside quite bright um, white and blues and things like that. So just trying to figure out, I think I've run out dirt as well, so I need to go and get some, which I need to kind of flatten some of this out anyway, so I might as well do that now and get a bit of the dirt I need. The one thing I never thought I'd ever get short on, dirt. But, oh, get rid of this guy. He didn't give me a bow. Um, let's go up here a little bit. Just try and keep it looking natural at the same time as uh, collecting what I need. I've got no inventory space, so I'm not even picking it up. Uh, let's just get rid of that. We'll collect all this dirt up. Okay. Should be enough for now. I can always get rid of what's in there if I need more. So, the next bit I need to do is these side walls. So, I'm doing the bottom layer in um, the stone brick and this layer is not actually going to be the brick. I don't know why I put it in there. Um, it's going to be more wooden colours when you get higher up. Now I need, I need a colour that's lighter than the um, spruce, but isn't as light as oak. And the only one I can really think of would be jungle, which we don't have. Um, I have no idea how far it is to a jungle. Um, we don't have a mesa, so I can't use the uh, stained clay. I don't really know what to use on it. I'm using the acacia for the, the ceiling, for the roof, so I don't want to use that inside. Um, and I can't really think of what else is like a brownie colour, so I'll probably just end up using spruce for now. Um, maybe some oak instead, just to give it that different colour and then if I don't like it I can always change it later. But this bottom layer is just going to be stone brick. So do that. So, get this one out and let's just take a little, little bit of this out for where the window's gonna go. I'll fix the inside another time. That's where the window is gonna be. I've got the glass panes on me. There. Just fill that in. Get rid of this guy. Oh, I found them zombies as well. They were right here underneath where the spruce tree was. Um, there was a little gap that was a creeper explosion and there was four skeletons and three zombies in it. Oh god, they're all coming for me now. Yeah, oh, we missed some glass on that one as well. Got that filled in, and then this side. Oh, I should have kept him, I could have tried to cure him. Um, this side as well is going to be stone bricks, but I'm also going to do the window on this side, which will be there. I think I'm going to run down and sleep and make it daytime just to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so I've been working on the next one. I, I'm not quite sure. I think the oat looks quite good with it. Uh, I would prefer jungle, but um, unless we, we head out and just happen to find one, that's not going to get changed anytime soon. So I did start like this side, so it was 
all flat and it looks kind of boring so I've changed this side so the um, support beams kind of stick out which I do like a little bit better it needs something um, for the glass though because the glass just kind of floats there now so I need to head in these so I can get in that's what I thought I do that um, it'll have to be like a double up kind of thing get up now just jump up here dirt out so I can pillar up a bit and then uh, have to be like that so it looks flat on the inside but it still sticks out of it on the outside Let's jump over and do this one just like that and then we'll head down and see how that looks that look any better yeah that looks better I like that a lot better so Let's get this bit changed. Just chop down some more oak trees because I'd already run out of wood. Okay, one's grown already. So let's get up and do the rest of this. So I don't need to now get rid of these because that's staying there. We just need to add in the extra row like this. Oh, yeah, oh, this one needs adding as well. Ow. Um, oh no, a stack, that's fine. This one, this way, is it? I don't know whether I added the corner one in or not, actually, because this now takes up three lots of bugs instead of just the one. Doing as well. I, mean, I wouldn't have needed them if I was just using normal glass, but I don't really have a lot of glass, so I've been using the panes. Um, let's go from there. That's where it starts building into the mountain. Get rid of this. Add a step in that way. I can get up here. There and add this last one in. Then above this, we need the support beams, but uh, I'm gonna do it. Some of this probably will get taken out because I'm gonna do the roof here now, but I want the roof so it comes down slightly so it kind of takes the corner off this um, side. So it's going to be where's the middle one? have to figure out how I'm going to do the roof and I'm not quite sure so I'll do that in a few minutes um get down now and see how this looks there is going to be a floor you won't see this dirt here there's going to be a floor here. Jump there. and on and then this is going to be a floor as well and then a lot of this is all going to get dug out at some point just get rid of the pillar of dirt and then we can have a look from over here see how it looks Yeah, that looks a lot better than it did before. Um, so we've got the more flat area on the bottom and it goes out a bit and then we're going to have the roof going to stick out a little bit as well. Oh, should start looking quite good. I'm going to head up there and start working on the roof. Try and figure out some dimensions. Uh, and how big I want that to be. So I'll be back with you when I've got that laid out. Okay, and I finally got the roof finished after after redoing it three times because it all right. Come on, give me an edge belt. Oh, 
Two and pearls, yes. Okay. Just need to make sure I'm heal, and then we can look at this. So, yes, yeah, we've got the roof done, as you can see. I see mobs everywhere. So there we go, this is how we've got it. I'm not quite sure about this part here. I'm going to have a play around at some point and see if I can figure out something better than that. Um, it doesn't quite look right. Um, if this was too wide, then I could have figured something out, but I'm not quite sure yet. But uh, we need something underneath these beams to hold it. Um, but I'm thinking I might just move this beam out one instead. Um, but we've got this all done now. I didn't put any windows in the top just because the areas that you can see are so small. Um, but as you can see, if we go around, uh, I've missed the dirt block, but uh, I'll take that down later. I didn't just want this straight up because, you know, it didn't quite look right. I've got some dirt here. I need to get up and fix something there that I didn't notice. Um, and the stairs, as you can see, I just did some, I did them up that way, uh, as you can see, there's one there, and there's one there, and then I came and just put these on just to give it that little bit more, a little bit thickness, it looks a little bit better. So I did that, and I'm really happy with it. So, now I need to start working on the inside. So between now and the next episode, I'm going to get that dug out and start moving some stuff into there. Um, and then I can connect that up. So when this is dug out, I think I'm probably going to connect it up to here somewhere. I might come through kind of this area and then maybe the middle one and just move these out the way. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It looks really Good. Not ruining crops again. And uh, yeah, I think we're making some good progress with our our little house here. See for here, yeah, I'm like the way it looks. So I've just got the floors and the ceilings inside to do, and then the digging out of behind. So yeah, we got some good work done. I didn't actually expect to get all that done this episode, I probably thought I'd just get part of it done, uh, needing to run out and get resources, but um, it turned out a lot better than I thought. But guys, that's all I've got time for today, unfortunately. So please leave a like, any comments are always appreciated. Just leave your opinions, if you've got any ideas, just write them down there. I will read and answer every single one. So. Um, it's always nice to hear what you think of uh, my builds and my videos. So thanks guys for watching. I will see you next time.